Einstein, who was pretty intelligent, said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing again and again and expecting different results. My guess is in our own lives, a lot of times we can want things to change, we can want things to be different, and we just kind of going through, just kind of expect that it's gonna change, right? Expect that, well, something's gonna happen because it has to. And we keep doing things maybe the same exact way as, as we have been, right? So m my whole thought on this is that sometimes when we're in these situations and we need something a little bit different that we need to be willing to crack out of the routine that we've been in and be willing to accept that maybe God is calling us to something a little bit different. Not saying that our lives are going to completely be different, but maybe that God has a new avenue, a new adventure, a new perspective. And that when we do things just a little bit differently, that he's going to crack through and that he, he wants to show us something different because he doesn't want us to be stuck. He doesn't want for us to struggle. He doesn't want, I mean, and if we do struggle, it's only because he's trying to teach us something to let us learn something the way he can pull us through the other side and ultimately reveal something different to us. So I think sometimes, even as I'm saying this, maybe it's like, well, I've tried doing different things and it's tough. Right? And we can think, well, what is it that I'm supposed to do? And it can be kind of stressful. Here's how I recommend we start. It all starts with going to the Lord and relaxing. Just like taking a deep breath, being with Him. Get your cup of coffee, right? It's good coffee. And <clears throat> Get your cup of coffee. Get whatever is going to help you relax. Get whatever, whatever is good in your routine. Great. Keep it. But whatever might be stressful... Try to let try to let go of that, and just know that the Lord's going to be with you. I am, am out walking, and in front of me was this absolutely beautiful pink and purple sky that I wanted to show you. And uh, right now I'm walking. And I got onto the street, and I'm like, "Oh, this would be great because it's a long street." Check out this view. Oh, look, you can see a little bit of it off to the right. But I didn't realize there were going to be all these trees in the way. But you know what? I'm going to keep walking. <laughs> I promise you this was not planned. This is, I'm like, oh no. But you know what? This is what God wanted. And so I'm just taking it right now is that God wanted me not to be humiliated. God wanted me to realize like, okay, you know what? You're just going to share that sometimes there may be something really, really good just beyond the trees. And you have to keep taking one step at a time, one foot in front of the other to get there. But you know how we're never going to get there if we simply keep doing the same things that we've been doing. So if you know that you need to, to, move, to, to, to move out of where you are and to get to that next step, whatever it is, keep putting one foot in front of the other. Take the steps that need to be taken, right? Steps need to be taken. All of us, always. The Lord never calls us to just simply stay stagnant in one place. Sure, for a time, for a time, maybe the Lord says, okay, we're going to pause here, right? But it's only when we get to heaven that the Lord's going to be like, okay, you've arrived. This is where you're going to stay always. And of course, I say this, I'm not talking physical place, right? It can be that, that movement, that motion of our hearts, right? So guess what? I kept moving and it's just, the camera can't do it justice. But it's just absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. Just these pink and purple hues in the sky. So, with God's help, get on the Lord's school bus and let the Lord take you where he wants to take you. Have a great day. God bless you.